Hello, my name is Billy the Green Sea Turtle, and I am here to tell you all a bit about both myself and my family. Now first off, just to make sure no one gets confused, I am considering all Green Sea Turtles to be a part of my family, whether I am actually related to them or not. Let's start with my diet. I personally only eat plants like seagrasses and algae, just like all other adult Green Sea Turtles. In fact, this is where we get our name from the green sea turtle because it turns our skin green. In fact, we are the only sea turtle that is an herbivore at any part of our lives. This means we only eat plants. However, if you look at my baby brother Boz, who is also a green sea turtle, he is carnivorous and only eats invertebrates like crabs, jellyfish, and sponges. This happens because over time we change from carnivores when we're young to omnivores during the middle of our lives and finally to herbivores as we become full-grown adults. Now, I have relatives who live all over the world, from about 60 degrees north to 40 degrees south, worldwide, although it is slightly less if there's no land nearby. We live in such a wide area as we can live anywhere where the water is even moderately warm and we have land nearby. While we do live worldwide, our two largest populations are in the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. All green sea turtles stay within about a thousand miles of land whenever it's possible as we love to crawl into land and just bask in the sun, something that actually makes us unique from other sea turtles. We green sea turtles provide several important services to the ecosystem of the ocean. As one of my favorite foods is seagrass, my adult cousins and I are constantly on the sea floor eating the grass keeping it very short. When seagrass is short, it spreads across the sea floor faster, allowing more habitats to be created for fish, shellfish, and crustaceans. If we didn't keep the seagrass short, it would cause many species to die off from lack of habitat and could potentially cause a chain reaction of extinctions in the ocean. We also cause the beaches to be healthy and grow with many forms of plant life, as when our la women lay eggs, the ones that don't hatch or the babies that sadly don't make it to the water, end up providing the beach with nutrients necessary for plant life to occur. Now, looking at several members of my family, we can look at all the major differences between them. Once again, my baby brother Boz only weighs about one ounce, but I weigh a hefty 700 pounds. Furthermore, he is only about two inches long from one end of the shell to the other, whereas I am five feet long from one end to the other. Now, my father is about 90 years old, but I am unsure how much longer he will live, as personally, I do not know how old my species lives, and I'm pretty sure nobody knows how long we can actually live. Now, my sister mates with a male once every two years before she goes to a beach in either Central America the east coast of Africa, or in between Australia and China. When she reaches the beach, she lays down anywhere from 110 to 140 eggs before burying them in the sand and crawling out back to the sea to live her life. Personally, I'm not completely sure how many of my kind are on the sea, but at the most, there's about 90,000 females in the world at the moment. And that may seem like there's a lot of us, but we are constantly being hunted and killed by humans daily, as well as hunted by tiger sharks when even when we are full-grown adults, which is causing our numbers to drop pretty quickly. Because so many of us are being killed each day, we are currently listed as in danger to try and stop humans from hunting us and to try and help my species recuperate. Now this is a very important thing as we've been around for over 150 million years, which means we saw the dinosaurs. Sadly, this is not working very well, as there is still a very large amount of illegal poaching of our eggs and of us as many cultures consider us a delicious meal and consider our eggs a delicacy. I hope that meeting me today and hearing from my point of view that you can help us to survive as we are critical to maintaining the balance of the ocean's ecosystems. Just remember, without us, there could be a chain reaction of extinctions going on in the ocean floor. Thank you for watching and have a great day.